Well, astronomy has always been a passion of mine. Um, I visited Planetarium when I was 10 years old. Something clicked in my brain. I'm like, oh, I have to come again and see the show next Friday. So I kept on going and I'm actually still going at that same Planetarium, but now I present the shows. So kind of came full circle. Okay. So, I mean, the astronomy club and the club program by the department, um, everyone has the same interests. So they're able to, you know, talk and expand. Um, find people that have the same interests and do experiments with, or they just sit down and talk. I was an undecided major when I first came here, so like the first two years that I was in college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then when I took uh, the physics and astronomy class my first, like just without being in the department first, um, I took those classes and I really liked the professors that I worked with and I really liked the material that was being covered. In the field of astronomy, despite how our subject matter is, you know, pretty much everything out there, mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty small world. Everybody knows everybody. In fact, like pretty much all the planetariums I went to go visit outside of class this semester, they're like, why are you here? And I'm like, oh, Norbert Vance sent me. And they're like, oh, I had him as my teacher. Everybody in this department, they're all, they're all so helpful. They're all willing to help out. Get in close contact with your professors. They help a lot. They'll help you plan out courses. They'll help you network. It's, it's very good to talk to the professors and the students in your classes. They're here because they want to help. Mm -hmm. So talk to your professors, take really good notes, and do practice problems and, and study really well. So we have 3D printers, there's a laser cutter, there's a, a lathe, and it's, it's something that students can go down to and construct and help with their experiments. Well, observational astronomy is taught by Norbert Vance. And so it's a, it's a late night class because guess what we get to do? We get to go up to the roof and use the telescopes. That was a pretty awesome experience because it was real, more about applications. So like we would do things like, you know, we learned about the moon, which you know, you think you know everything about the moon. And then Norbert has you draw a map and he's like, all right, name all these craters. And then you're like, well, I don't know as much as I thought I did. You don't need to be, uh planning to pursue a career in, in science necessarily if you want to do an astronomy minor or you could do a physics minor as well so uh, those are just things to consider like I think before I even decided that I wanted to be a physics major I was going to do an astronomy minor regardless because I just I love astronomy I love mm -hmm. learning about space I think it's one of the most interesting things out there don't give up like you'll be hit with a few curved balls like you won't expect this to relate to this but if you stick with it long enough you'll find oh hey Learning how to do so-and-so has helped me understand what I'm doing now. And yeah, just stick with it because it may seem intimidating at first in that first class because it's just the general, like, you know, knowledge and history of astronomy. So it's like they try to condense a lot of information to one class. But I do promise that the more you move up in classes, the more specialized areas of interest you're going to find.